All right, y'all, I've been slaving away in the kitchen and I'm finally finished, so I'm gonna let you see it and then we're gonna taste it. So this is how it looks inside. Look at that. Okay. And this is how the sauce looks. It's so good and it's beautiful. So now we're gonna dip. All right, y'all, close up for this. So good. Mm -mm. So, wow. Well, <laughs> I'm making a mess per usual. Guys, it's so good. I'm eating the whole thing right here. Mm. That's a good popper. This is the crab meat. The cilantro. Mm. Mm. I have my face. This is so good. Mm hmm. Amazing. Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is T and tonight we're going to do something a little different. So I saw this uh, jalapeno recipe by Mama Appetite's Kitchen and I thought, oh my God, I could put a twist to it. So I'm going to do the jalapeno egg rolls with crab and lobster in them this is a recipe by mama appetite's kitchen i'm so excited to try it you guys are gonna love it let's start cooking oh y'all baby rain is joining us tonight because you know mom life she's not sleeping we have to make it work right all right all right so guys i know y'all are wondering what is going on behind me why there are no doors on my cabinet you know, I just moved. I'm going through a kitchen renovation, so this is what we got. <laughs> it is what it is. Let's get into the cooking, y'all. <laughs> okay, guys, so this recipe is very simple, which is why I love it. I can imagine how it tastes as well. So, we need a bunch of cilantro. We need some jalapenos, of course. We're going to need some mozzarella, some cream cheese, some sour cream, and then the egg roll paper. Uh, for, for my twist, I'm going to add my some mom. king crab mama. legs in it and mama. some lobster tails. This is going to be so good. Uh, Alright y'all, so I'm going to show you how to dismantle this claw, okay? It's a like big, look y'all. Alright, so look, simple. Don't forget that. So first, I'm gonna pop out what I can. And y'all, I had this soaking in water, hot water, so that the salt comes out of it. So we're gonna one chop it. And when you chop it, you open it. Okay? You do another chop. Okay, you gotta be firm. 
and that's how you open your claw okay now I'm just gonna dig the meat out and I'm gonna try to get the, all this gunk out of it okay so open that up take the meat out I should put this here so you guys can see so we get the gunk put it in the trash okay and you know you know for the clown meat out of death meat I've put in eggs y'all saw baby rain today right no, she was not going to bed it was like midnight and my girl not asleep kind of knows I'm going to already here, T go again with the late recording. Because this was supposed to be a different video, y'all. Okay, one more chop. I fly every way. Alright, guys, so I was supposed to make a different recipe video tonight, but I was missing an ingredient. Alright, so done with that. I'm going to get our scissor. As usual, open this up. This is a pretty and useless. And y'all, when I saw this recipe, and you know what, I saw this recipe a few months ago, and I was like, man, I would love to make that. But you know somebody in the middle of the move on everything? So I couldn't do anything, but y'all, I'm settling in. <laughs> Even though my cabinet, you know, you see, you see, you see the grind. But we gotta do what we gotta do. So, gonna do that. I'm gonna rinse these off, okay? Because the shell is on it, and we don't want um, any shell to be in our jalapeno poppers. But yeah, mama guy appetite, right? Sweet little lady, really good recipe. Let me wash this off, okay? So this is how our lobster meat is looking. It's looking good, okay? I'm gonna split the lobster meat down the middle, okay? So let's just split that. And then I'm gonna make little balls. So we're gonna have some a nice bite of lobster in here. Okay, it's gonna be so good. I was thinking that some could be lobster and some could be crab meat, but I figured why not just, you know, put both. And y'all, the seasoning for this is gonna be very simple because we do not want to overpower anything, right? You know what I'm thinking too? I could turn this into an Alfredo jalapeno popper. A king, <laughs> a king crab um, lobster, Alfredo jalapeno popper in egg roll paper. Wow. I'm a lot over here. I'm a little... You see them, them pieces are big? Imagine because I have big bites of this and I get jalapeno. Alright. So I'm not going to break it up. This is how we're looking. Okay, I'm gonna put some black pepper. Just a little bit. Some onion powder. Just a little tiny bit, okay? Some garlic powder. And this is just some kicking chicken. And this has, um, garlic salt onion red pepper flakes orange peel which is why i really like it it has some paprika red bell pepper sugar and other spices so this is a good one simple kicking chicken and it's not very salty so just a little bit of that and then i wish i had fresh lemon y'all but i don't just a little bit okay no so let's put that in my seafood i have some butter and we're gonna put that into our pot, okay? All right, guys, so the butter is, has rendered and started to brown. I'm gonna drop everything in. Okay. 
think we need some more butter, y'all. And for everything I'm doing, guys, I use two lobster tails and one claw meat. Um, but how much you use just really depends on how much popper you're making. I'm just gonna put some parsley in here. Or actually, I'm gonna pop some cilantro in here. So the cilantro flavor could go through the seafood. So you know the lime juice, the, well it's lemon juice, but you guys when you do this recipe, please use lime juice. Lime and cilantro goes amazing together. So y'all, yeah, we're gonna put some lorries in here, just a little bit. Just a little bit of lorries, okay? A sprinkle. So that literally took a minute or two, then we're gonna transfer everything over. Looks good. Let's assemble the cream cheese and the mozzarella mixture. So I left my cream cheese out for it to be room temperature. She did make a sauce with this. Mama Appetite did add green onions. She added chives to hers. I'm using green onions in mine. I think it's pretty much the same thing. So we're just gonna put some green onions in here. And then we're gonna add a dollop of mayo, okay? She did add that to hers. She also put She also put black pepper in hers. Now her recipe, she used bacon, so she made a bacon jalapeno popper in the egg roll. I'm using seafood. So I'm doing king crab and um, lobster. It's time to add my um, filling, my crab meat, and my lobster. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> there's so much crab meat in here and lobster. I'm gonna make it work though. Y'all think I need more cream cheese? <laughs> We're gonna have some big bite of, um, of lobster and crab. So I'm actually not gonna put any more cream cheese in mine okay so this is how we're looking if you're wondering what the sour cream and the cilantro is for that's for the green sauce that she dips everything in I'm so excited for that sauce y'all alright so how she did it was she simply cut the the tail off is what she called it she sliced it down the middle but she did blister hers already I didn't blister mine as yet, so I'm doing it a little backwards. I'm taking everything off and then I blister it, okay? Now hers were a little charred on the outside, I don't know how she did that. So I'm going to try my best and put mine in a pan with a little bit of oil just because I don't want it to stick and then we'll see what happens, okay? But if it wilts a little bit on the outside. That's all I'm looking for. So that's pretty much all she did. I'm gonna do one more so you can see. So she cut the, the tail off. She sliced it down the middle. And then she took all the seeds out as well as the membranes because you know this is what holds the heat in the pepper. And these are some really big peppers, y'all. So we're gonna head over to the stove and we're gonna blister these bad boys, okay? Now I'm greedy, so I'm gonna make like... 
Oh, she did say it was important to keep the peppers together, which obviously I failed. My peppers are already separated. A little bit of oil. Because we're not frying it, right? We just don't want the pan to burn. So I'm gonna put them skin side down. I do see why she separated them after she charred it because she did say it's important to keep the hash together. Obviously, I did not do that, <laughs> but we're gonna make it work. I have my stove on high because I wanted to char quickly. Let me check on one. See? Nice. And she said just a little bit. I think we're good. So let me turn this over. Yep, this is what I want. This is exactly what I want. So my peppers are looking good. I'm gonna let them cool and then we assemble them. Okay guys, so we're gonna add the mixture into the blender for the sauce, okay? we're doing the sauce now because our jalapenos are cooling I'm gonna put all the measurements on the screen so don't worry about it so that's some cilantro one jalapeno a sour cream in lime juice water some black pepper salt this jalapeno when you blister it don't sleep on it it'll make you cough okay Make sure you have the vents on and the windows open. Perfect. I'm gonna add my sauce. All right, y'all, my oil is getting hot, so let's assemble everything. So we're gonna get two peppers that fit. These two look good, right? All right, y'all, so we're gonna put some filling in. <laughs> That's nice and thick. I think she pressed it down, right? All right. Oh, guys, we have to put water on the sides. So she used a brush, but I'm just gonna use my hand and we're gonna put the water on there so it can seal. Gonna roll it. So roll it once, roll it again, tuck it in, tuck it in, and then roll it again. All right? Let's press this together so it stays closed. Because you know, mine's, mine's, a, mine's full, right? Then we're gonna pop it in the pan. Let's do one more. All right, so these two look like it fit. We have a big piece of crab meat in here. <clears throat> oh man, that's gonna be good. Lobster meat. All right. Can you, you see this? All right. My oil is well hot, guys. I'm gonna actually turn my pan down before I put these bad boys in because I would be pissed if they burn. I'm just gonna use my hand. You can use a brush. That's what Mama Appetite used. But I'm just gonna use my hand. So I'm gonna roll it. Right? Roll it. And tuck it. Tuck it. Just like so. And then roll it again. Okay, 
These are not the prettiest egg roll you've ever seen, but I bet it's the tastiest. Alright. I'm ready to put them in. Okay, have my egg rolls. All right, y'all, I've been slaving away in the kitchen and I'm finally finished, so I'm gonna let you see it and then we're gonna taste it. So this is how it looks inside. Look at that. Okay. And this is how the sauce looks. It's so good and it's beautiful. But we have to do birthday shout outs, okay? If you wanna let me know when your birthday is so that you can get a shout out, always put your birthday in the birthday post on my community page, okay? Now, if you put it in the comments, I'm probably gonna miss it, okay? This is where I check. Oh, Kadeja. So Kadeja Ellison, birthday is January 3rd. Happy birthday, my love. That was yesterday, today's Monday, okay? Tamar, Tamar Cooper, birthday is January 1st. My love, I'm sorry I missed you. Happy birthday to you. One very special birthday happened, January 27th, and that is JoJo's birthday. Miss Brown, thank you so much for being a part of my channel and always supporting me I really appreciate you listen the moment Jojo touched down on my channel <laughs> I was like wow she came with so much passion behind it she always gave me such encouraging words and thank you Jojo I can't believe I missed your birthday in December but girl I told you I'd have to bring it back right so I hope this year brings you a lot of joy happiness and peace as always guys your time is your most valuable currency and you've chosen to spend it with me thank you so much one more thing so for everyone who's asked for bites i'm gonna try to give you your bites in the next few videos but i only give bites in mukbangs okay so see you next time